Hey, web designer friend, I wanna help you in this video. Save time when you're sending out your quote, contract, and invoice when you're getting web design projects started. Now, I used to send proposals out manually, wait for a sign off, and then send a contract out manually, wait for a signature, and then send an invoice out manually, wait to get paid, and then send a getting started sequence. But there is a better way, my friends. There are so many tools you can automate this with. I use a platform called 17 Hats for this, and I'm gonna show you in this video how I automate quote, contract, invoice, and welcome sequence all with one click. Now, a couple important things before we dive in. This is actually a lesson from my full web design business course. So you'll see and hear some mention of other lessons around this. This is simply walking you through how I have this process in place, but there's some more resources below on how to get access to the full course if you would like. And there's a couple additional videos I'm gonna wanna recommend that you check out because they are referenced and shown here. One is on proposals and how to structure your high converting web design proposals. That is below. And then also linked below is a video on my recommendation on how to structure your web design contracts to protect you as well. I mentioned all those things because that's what you're about to see right here. And then finally, if you like this process, be sure to go to my link at joshhall.co slash 17 hats. You'll end up right here where you can get a seven day trial to literally plug and play this system and give it a go using 17 hats. All of this is with the goal of making proposals way faster, but they look really custom as you'll see here. Uh, with all the templates we have set up. And for those of you who don't use 17 hats before you go, I hope this at least gives you some ideas and inspiration on how to automate your system, depending on the CRM that you use. So first off, I'm in a little test project here. And before I actually create a new workflow here and uh, use the template I have set up, let me just show you in 17 hats where you can do this yourself. If you go into your settings and then go down to documents and emails, I've got a bazillion templates that I've saved over the years. This particular template is in the quote. So it actually starts as a quote, but you could technically start this as a questionnaire if you wanted to. But it starts for me as a quote, and it is the website design quote, and you'll see here, plus contract, plus invoice. So when we open this and edit it, you'll see here it comes with some standard fields, and I can include the contract, the invoice, and payment schedule. And I'm actually gonna send this to myself so you see what it looks like. And then right here, you see the contract that we've already covered a couple lessons ago. The main contact or the contract is here, which you can adjust and customize per project if you needed to. The invoice itself, except online payments, and you can go into details there. The payment schedule, we just covered my recommended uh well, my recommendations for not only one-off, but ongoing projects, which you could do here, but this workflow and this template are for main one-off projects. And then the quote, the proposal. So you'll see here what we covered in the proposal section of this section of the course. It comes with the basics of the foundation of that, which you will go in here and customize yourself. And then we're ready to rock and roll. So when we go back, so I'm in my test project here. Uh, I'm going to go create a new. And again, you can set a template up with any one of these. But in this case, I've set it up as a quote. So I just met with this guy, Josh. Seems like an awesome guy. He's ready to rock and roll. We're going to do a quote. And yes, I could go in here and customize a quote, but the beauty of this workflow and this template is it is saved under templates. So remember what I just showed you in the settings, that's right here because it is a template for the quote. So watch this. This is one reason I love, love, love 17 hats. I click this and boom, it automatically populates everything that I need ready to go. Other CRMs may have something similar, but 17 hats, this is the thing that literally sold me on it. So I could customize this. I could make this valid until a certain date. I could add sales tax if you need to. And again, it's all here. So if I needed to customize this contract with anything, I could do it right here and it will just affect this project. The invoice is all set up here. Payment schedule is set automatically for 50%. And I could go in here and add a due date uh, on this project. So I'm recording this in May of 2023, let's say, uh, let's, it's actually set at 45 days, but let's say this one's going to be a pretty quick project. Let it set it for a month out payment due. Uh, well, the second payment due will be on that date and that should change here. There we go. Payment schedule 50% seven days after they receive this and accept it. And the remainder on June 19th in this case, and here is where I'll adjust this. So in this case, uh, let's say this is a 
nine, almost a ten thousand dollar project. Uh, we're gonna say page build a ton, uh, content creation assistance. No thanks, and everything else looks good. You could do workflows. You could get wild with this if you wanted to. We're all good to go. We also provide looks good for testing purposes and time purposes. Let's roll. We're gonna save this, and now. I can review this before I send it, make sure everything looks good. Okay, I'm ready to send and check this out. I'm gonna send quote and here is where you can send and I'm, I've got this labeled for you below or listed for you below. Here is where you can customize an email or remember in the proposal section, I showed you how to do a little proposal email with the goals and the results. Check this out. That template is right here. I have this set as the quote contract plus invoice email and watch this. Woo, look at that, look at that. So I can customize this accordingly. Uh, in this case, uh, I could say, make Josh look good, look good, finally. There we go, project goals, that's the biggie. We're gonna make sure we underline this and make sure we're gonna make everything look good. And then this looks good, blah, 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 blah. We're good to go, check this out. Send, now it's been sent. The really cool thing about this two and 17 hats is you can track whether somebody opens it. So I'm going to keep this window open. I'm going to head over to my email where this was sent and I'll actually show you what that looks like. So it shows me, shows me when it was sent and yeah, let me take a look at my email. We'll go from there. So here we go. I just popped in my email and here is the initial email for me to review the quote. So this takes the pressure off somebody. And again, just if you if you happen to not look at the proposals lesson, I recommend you go back to that because I explain why this is very intentional with a lead in about the project goals. You could call this results as well. This primes clients to look at everything that we're about to do, the end goal of the website, and then gives me a one, two, three. Once this looks good, accept the quote, sign the contract, pay online, or send a check. Review the quote. And here is the quote that I whipped up. How fast was that? Like a couple minutes. And the really cool thing about this is when they get this email and when they get this quote, it looks like you spent so much time doing this. But the reality is you just have a nice little template and workflow in 17 hats, which again is down below for you to import in your 17 hats and you're good to go. So right here, I can see the proposal. I can also see the contract before I even sign. That's the beauty about this, but I can't see the invoice until I sign the contract and accept the proposal. So I'm gonna accept it, 10K, looks good, no big deal. I'm gonna look at the contract next. Plain English, they seem legit. Let's do it, sign the contract. Oh, signature doesn't match the name. I tried to get too fancy. That should be better. Now I can view the invoice and watch this. Pay the invoice online and I can see 50% due within seven days and then the remainder, uh, once I pay, the remainder will say it's due on June 19th or I could pay in full. Again, for those who do want to pay in full. Now I, through 17 Hats, I have set up through PayPal. They can also do an e-check, which is through ACH, which you can set up through your bank. I have, uh, I forget how I set that up, but it is an option that you could go into in 17 hats and then you're good to go. That is literally how they pay this. And then once they pay this, a uh, email gets kicked out to them that will give them a getting started pay, uh, getting started email, which we're actually going to cover once we get over to onboarding. So there you go. That is why I freaking love the heck out of 17 hats. And how easy was that? I literally went in, did this proposal really quick based off the template and that process, guys, just makes you look so pro, so boss. And I really hope you give it a whirl. If you're not happy with your current CRM or if you don't have one, give 17 hats a go. My link is joshhall.co slash 17 hats. Uh, that is my affiliate link, but that'll take you to where you'll get a deal, a special offer on 17 hats for a little while. Uh, highly recommend it. And again, below is the instructions on how to make this your own. So as I go into my account, this is what I have for you. It's going to import this into your quotes. And then this is what's going to be here for you. So customize this as you will. One thing you can do as well is if you wanted to, just as a heads up, you could have different quotes and templates for different size projects. So you could have a like small package quote. You could have a 
medium style package quote. And then if you're doing e-commerce, this could be a standard setup for e-commerce if you wanted to, which would probably be a little more robust. So just wanted to mention that. And again, that's all for you, my friends. And I almost left without showing you one of the coolest features of all this. And that is that when you send a quote, you can see here under the client profile, if you have a certain project here, it will show you everything here. So it shows me when the quote was accepted, that the contract was signed, and it shows me where the invoice and payment is at. So if I look at the quote itself, you'll see right here, let me grab my little arrow, uh, accepted here, sent, or created, sent, accepted, and it's all right there. How cool is that? And I can look at the signed contract, sent and signed on this for any legalities or anything. And it's a digital signature. Super, super cool. Again, all tracked right here in 17 hats. And then I can see as far as the payment goes. Now this is open because I didn't actually pay for this. Um, but this is just shows me the payment schedule details. When somebody actually pays you, remember the invoices that I just showed you that was uh, select pay that will show you right there that bam, this is stamped. This is paid. So cool. So again, if you like this and you want to make this system your own and you'd like a way to just one click plug and play with this, go to joshhall.co slash 17 hats. You'll end up right here where you can get a free seven day trial. Or if you're ready to just dive in, you can get a big exclusive discount using my link. And this will be available for you to just plug and play. You can, you can set this system up and get clients immediately using this Go to joshhall.co slash 17 hats to get started. And again, this was a lesson from my full web design business course link and more details below on how to get access to that. And if you want more guidance on both web design proposals and web design contracts, both of these videos are available now for you. You can check out the video right here on high converting proposals and my video here on how to structure your web design contracts. Cheers, friends, to helping you save time and automating your quote contract and invoice system. Go save some time and make some money, will you?